Now, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of myself that I've had this long of a conversation with you, Thomas Jane. I have not mentioned the word Boogie Nights yet because uh, uh, this is one of the remote drop movies for me. Hey, uh, doesn't matter uh, where I pick it up or when I pick it up. Uh, I must watch it to its conclusion. That's one of those movies. Yeah, I agree. For sure. And then uh, the famous scene uh, with um, you and Alfred Molina and obviously Wahlberg and John C. Riley. Right. Um, and the uh, drug dealer scene, the firecrackers, true or false, were not originally in that Boogie Night script scene. True My understanding is that uh, I don't remember the firecrackers in the script. I do remember reading that scene and thinking it was so great that I wanted to audition for that character, Todd Parker. Because there were a bunch of ro- different roles that were open. I said, I, that's the role for me. And mm-hmm. I got that role. And, my understanding is that Paul was at a party and a buddy of his was doing exactly that. Just throwing firecrackers? Randomly throwing firecrackers at this <laughs> party. And so he asked him, that guy, he's like, mm-hmm. I'm filming this scene, uh, you know, this weekend. Come on, come on down and, and do that. So he got so the guy in the movie is the, the guy fu- from the party that was throwing the firecrackers. <laughs> oh, so Cosmo is Cosmo's, a, Cosmo's a, a, a friend dude. of Paul Thomas Anderson <laughs> at the time. Yeah, that's my understanding. <laughs> okay, so Cosmo, <laughs> Cosmo he's Chinese. <laughs> okay, so that yeah. what, what that was it, and that was it. He came down there. We sh- took took a couple of days to shoot that movie, and uh, so how many you know, firecrackers did he have? The first few. <laughs> The first few take, first few takes, you know, all the actors are, ah, you know, because he's doing them random. He's just right. tossing them out there. But then we start getting used to it, you know. And after a while, you become desensitized. Right. So uh, the first AD was having to resort to all kinds of different things to try to get a reaction out of us, clapping wood together, firing off a blank gun, you know. Uh, like a starter's to, gun? Yeah, yeah, to try to get, to get that startle reaction from everybody. Because uh, because we were shooting it for so long, firecrackers. You know, it, I guess it's like war. You know, and sure. at first you're like freaked out, and then it just becomes you're eating your lunch and bombs are going off. So if you're driving around a car and Sister Christian comes on the radio, you think of that scene too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, you don't. Christer, Sister Christian doesn't come on the radio when I'm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what kind of car you're driving. (laughs) I'm listening to Yacht Rock, sir. Uh, Okay, another one. Um, This I I can't wait. Believe I'm reading this line of these words to Thomas Jane in Celebrity True or False, but I will. True or false? You got kneed in the nuts on the boogie night (laughs) set by an angry Burt Reynolds, who later then sent you a bottle of champagne the next day as an apology. True or false, Thomas Jane? Oh God, something like that happened. I, I, uh, you know. Paul had said, hey, you know, after this scene is over, I'm going to keep the camera going, so f*** with him a little bit. Yeah. Of course, you know, the director neglected to tell Bert that that was what was going to happen. So <laughs> the scene ends. Yes. Bert's like, you know, I'm done, you know. It's it's like, you know, where, where where's my lunch? And uh, I start f***ing with him, <laughs> taunting him. And, and he's just like, what is going on? Who are you, you f***? <laughs> and then <laughs> instantly the guy just you know goes berserk and t- tries to kick me in the nuts or, uh, and that's what like happened that. so he needs you and, and, and i don't remember and so then what happened i don't remember so somebody explained to him that you were just yeah, following the, director's the, orders right 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 and then uh you know and then a six pack of beer showed up in my trailer ah, six pack <laughs> of beer that. maybe that's where you got it from <laughs> Maybe that's where you got it from later on for Kevin Nash. Absolutely. <laughs> to pay it forward. Uh, yeah, what was it like being right. with Bert on that set? I mean, just in general, being on that set in general. It, it, that's one of the things I love about this movie is it just, it looked so fun for you to do. Yeah. It was an actor's sort of dream, right? We had all these really talented actors. A lot of us were young. And then we had guys like Burt Reynolds. I remember we were shooting a party scene and it was a big, long take uh, through this house. And so it was taking forever to set up. And I remember Bert sitting in, we were shooting at a house out in the valley. Mm-hmm. And Bert was sitting in a chair like this one and in a living room. And all the other actors, young me and some other people, were gathered around and we sat Indian style all around him on the rug and looked up at him while he regaled us with stories of being an actor in 1950s New York City and 
getting mistaken for Marlon Brando and running around there and auditioning with James Dean and all of the different sort of the, the world of an, of being a young actor when he was our age in New York and, and come and that is one of those kind of unforgettable uh, moments, you know, where he, he was, he was paying it backward or something. Sure. <laughs> he was, he was uh, giving us a, uh, sort of a, a feeling of what of what it was of, of and, and that kind of passing of the baton mm-hmm. um was a really neat moment yes he was in the midst of a, a performance that would get him nominated for an oscar yeah 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 and which you know paul desperately tried to get him to do it without his toupee and he would and he just wouldn't do it he just couldn't do it he's like i don't know no if it would have had the same way. i don't know if it would have had the same yeah i don't know effect. but that was the original uh wouldn't idea have been as good. yeah that, he looked he looked as good you know oh no, he looked great you know but yeah. I, I think it would have been a, i think he probably would have won if he'd taken the two I mean, with william h macy and philip seymour hoffman that scene yeah. with him yeah, yeah. Behind the wheel of the car, after he just really uh, had 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 oh opened man. himself up i'm an idiot yeah, and then you know, with all the cursing involved too, like that was unreal. Yeah, just spectacular. Great and, stuff in there. And your scenes as well, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, we were young and hungry, and uh, you know, those scripts don't come around very often. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.